I think I'm gonna quit. I think I'm gonna fail at this 100k attempt. It's just about 5 a.m. This is an ore cart at the base of Hacienda Quicksilver. I am just now starting a 100 kilometer run, self support. This should be a, should be a good time. Gotta keep moving to stay warm until that sun rises though. So this fence line is the boundary of the graveyard. And this graveyard is from a Spanish town with Spanish miners from the late 18, mid to late 1800s. It's the first kind of mile, it's the first milestone on this 100 kilometer course. Um, what to say about it? It's a little spooky being here in the morning darkness. And I'm actually not that afraid. I, I feel like I'm doing a good job respecting the the spirits of the people who who are buried here and have passed on to whatever's next for them in the cosmos. El Dago Cemetery is the park's name for it. All right, goodbye cemetery. Let's start running again. It's just a steepest section of this approach to the summit of El Sembrero. It's just about sunrise here, which is great. Yeah. You know, basically a 60 mile day and this will be my first attempt at you know the 100 kilometer trail run self-support and just the first one in general so I'm going pretty conservatively uh, you can see a concrete cube behind me that's the radar tower from Mount Hummanum and the weather is cold a little windy on these exposed sections, probably about 40 degrees Fahrenheit, which is a lower number in Celsius. We're just to be in the Santa Cruz Mountains. Morning light. Trail running in that Alpine glow. Feels like a big burst of energy. The solar radiation from the sunrise made it to the summit of El Sembrero. It's not the most picturesque summit because it's been bladed to make room for this high voltage transmission line, but I'll take it. Uh, I'm 11 miles in, so approximately a sixth of the way done. Elevation is just under 3,000 feet. And what other metrics do we got here? Heart rate's 100. Uh, two and a half hours in, or two hours, 35 minutes, which is good. I definitely don't want to burn up all the matches in the first go. Some neat fungi there. See this little creek here. Flows under the road into this cooler. I'm gonna fill my water. This is my first water stop. And this is uh, part of the whole self support trail running journey. Uh, water's pretty clean today, which is nice. And we are just under. Alright, so we just took this little bottle of bleach, added a few drops into the water. Stop took about 10 minutes, which is annoying. Uh, filled water, bleached water, gonna wait about 30 minutes for it to treat. Luckily, I'm on a downhill and it's freezing, so I'm not super thirsty. Um, eat a little food and then messed around with the GoPro, which isn't working, but whatever. This phone is 4K, so I'm just filled with it. Hands are cold. Oh, and I had to strap the pulse to the back. So, everything just takes on your own yourself to work. Oh, I just 
just keep on running. Just finished climbing that steep fire road. You can see a little ledge here, which is nice. We're almost to the top of this ridge. And then downhill. About 1,500 feet of climbing. Maybe two and a half miles, maybe three and a half. That last mile and a half was definitely the second crux of this course. Pulls away and run this downhill or try to. Just hit a mile 37. Very nauseous still, which sucks. On a positive note, this is the most miles I've ever done by about a handful of miles. So that's cool, but it's just, yeah, definitely in the pink. I just finished mile 38 and the nausea is not as bad. I stopped for a moment to get my poles. I'm just like doing 23 minute miles. I think I'm gonna quit. I think I'm gonna fail at this 100K attempt, which is a bummer. Walk of shame, I just made it home. Quitting at 40 miles. <laughs> 